In this video, we're going to see the sequencing that's involved in laser crown troughing. You can see an upper right central that has a provisional here in place, which had fractured off, and after discussion of treatment options, the patient decided to try and save it one more time. Post was uncovered a little bit, and core material was added. At this point, we rough out the prep, and we're ready to proceed with laser crown troughing. You can see here the preparation and the diode laser is brought in, at this case at 0.8 watts. Short brush strokes are taken to create a sulcus or a, or a, a moat in the sulcus and uh, you're going back and forth with short brush strokes and periodically cleaning off the tip. You can see some brown debris that can be at times um, charring but also can be at times organic debris on the tooth structure which turns brown and, and uh, this has become a concern for some people as how to clean the the tissue and also the uh, brown charring on the tooth. You can see the angulation that is used and in this case the Picasso light disposable tips 90 degree tip and uh, 10 millimeters long was used to try and uh, create this trough around the tooth. You can see immediately post-operatively there is charring and what we do is use hydrogen peroxide in an ultra-dense syringe brush to uh, remove any of the organic debris or charring that is on the tissue. The hydrogen peroxide is scrubbed gently into the tissue uh, making short back and forth motions and you can see that some of the loose uh, debris and also some of the white necrotic slough that has occurred in the tissue is removed. After using the hydrogen peroxide we turn to a wet cotton pellet and the wet cotton pellet is used to again remove any of the white uh, tissue slough at the, at the sulcus here. You can see the, the uh, cotton pellet held in. It's just a damp cotton pellet and we move it around the tissue, typically moving from the margin away. So by doing that we also distend the sulcus a little bit and remove any of the uh, loose tissue that is, is still present. You see immediately afterwards and what we need to do now is to finalize our margins. So we um, will need to bring back through the diamond or a sonic, um, a smooth um, diamond or, and, and refine the margins so that they're equally gingival to the prepared uh, sulcus. This will also at times remove some debris, give you a nice clean appearance to your margin so the lab can differentiate where the tissue and where the margin is using the electric hand piece at low power here at low revolution just to try and uh, remove any of the ledges, J hooks and make the margin equally gingival. Immediately postoperative at low magnification and at a high magnification you can see the central and you can see the result just before taking the impression. Here we are with the uh, tooth and finally the provisional place. This is Dr. Glenn Van saying keep lazing it's amazing and until next time goodbye.